Hi everyone, thank you for staying back for the, uh, from the lunch. So in this presentation, I'll be talking about uh, manuscript title towards uh, low cost and transfer predictions of high entropy alloy active sites. Stay near this here. Okay, yeah. uh, towards uh, high entropy alloy active sites. In this, uh, we had three major highlights, but for this talk, I'll be only focusing on the sequential optimization. So before I deep dive into the uh, sequential optimization, high entropy active sites are uh, defined as uh, systems which have at least uh, five elements. Uh, there are some other caveats as well on uh, the concentration and the configurations. So for us, what we are trying to do in this paper is to understand how uh, to how ammonia uh, ammonia ammonia dissociation happens on an HEA surface. And what we are, uh, what we have done, we have a machine learning model where we input the lower accuracy adsorption energies and the of geometry which you see in the image and we try to predict a uh, higher accuracy adsorption energies now to gen to train the uh, these models we also require a lot of data so how did we generate the, uh, these data sets is the title uh, is the uh, uh, is what i'm be talking about but before that uh, a little bit about me i am a second year phd student at uc davis uh, advised by professor ampar kulkarni and professor uh, Joining my PhD program, I was a software engineer at HSBC and a fintech startup. So going back to the problem of data. So what usually is done is you have a, an optimization of, uh, and you set certain parameters. Now these pa parameters are represented here as 700, uh, 331, 300, 221. Uh, if you are a familiar with PFT, the first number is the, the plane wave energy cutoff, and the second number is the k-point mesh. If you're just think of the, uh, the higher the number, higher is the level of accuracy. Now, what we usually do is they have a they directly optimized until convergence at, at the particular bar, at particular parameters. What we have tried to do is create stages in between so that we can converge faster. Now, these stages are represented here in these boxes. Now, this was the major intuition for us. Why we did this was because we thought that if we give our our calculation a better starting point. The will converge much faster and this our intuition actually proved right when we actually uh, we calculated the compute times so on the x-axis here in the parity plot we have the, uh, the combined uh, uh, compute time for all the stages and on the, on the x-axis we have the direct optimization compute time so all the dots here represent the different HEA configuration and when we move the adsorption uh, 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 adsorbates on the surface uh, and we try to using two different protocols. We, were, we found that 68% of the sequential protocol, the, cal the calculations converge 68% 68 per, uh, 68 faster than, uh, than direct optimization. And all the dots in the green actually represent that they were, they were converging faster with the sequential protocol than compared to direct optimization. Now, the major reason why uh, what we uh, analyzed was the difference in the ionic steps which were performed. So if you're performing or direct optimization, all your, uh, all your calculations happen on, the, uh, on that particular parameter and the, the red bar on the right represents the, that we would require somewhere around on an average 70 steps. But if you're using a sequential, pro, uh, sequential protocol, majority of the steps are actually happening at a much lower accuracy. And because of that, these, because of lower accuracy, these are actually faster to, uh, uh, these steps are much faster. So when we move to the accuracy, which is the 731, which is the last bar, uh, uh, the last uh, uh, green bar, these calculations require much uh, lower number, uh, actually very low number of uh, ionic steps. We have used this particular approach in our other paper where we are trying to uh, are trying to simulate uh, uranium grain boundaries and uh, we are trying to understand how it diffuses through those uh, grain boundaries. Now, working with, with uh, uranium, I know that these are very difficult systems to converge and we actually found that protocol helped uh, at least me in the uh, on the lines of convergence as well so with this i would like to end my talk and acknowledge nurse for this amazing uh, event and I, i'm happy i visited in person because the view is amazing from you and also i would like to thank uh, uc davis collaborators uh, chengan sun he's a phd a phd candidate in my lab and professor ambar kulkarni for the sync uh, compute time on nurse <laughs> definitely and the uh, so this is my presentation and thank you so much.